So we are now in step 17.6, which is all about modifying the worksheet structure. So just as you can change a word table structure, you can also change the structure of a worksheet by adding and deleting rows and columns and also merging cells. You can also add and delete the worksheet stored within a workbook. So let's go ahead and get started. You should be in Cruise 2 file that you just completed and we will save Cruise 2 as Cruise 3. Okay, so click the column B heading. So remember these are our columns and this is my column B heading. I have to actually click on the B and notice that it, it puts a dark border around all the cells in the column and they're shaded. And when you use the column header to select, it selects every, every column in your whole worksheet. Click row 4 heading. Again, you have to actually click the number 4 in order to select the whole row and notice again that it puts the dark border and the shading around the selected row and when you do that notice all of my columns are lit up even if I scroll over because it shades or highlights every cell in row 4. So the next thing we're going to do is click in cell A4 and enter A and press enter. Notice that this new data replaces the data in the active cell. So we just um, changed the 7 to the 8. The next thing we'll do is click in cell A1 and drag to the right to select A1 through D6. Now we're going to drag, so you click in A1 and you're going to drag it over to D6. So just drag it over to select D and then go down to 6. So notice that we've selected a range of cells, A1 through D6. Even though some of the contents in column D extends beyond your cell border here, all of the content is still selected. So we won't worry about column E because since your text is in column D, it is still selected. So click elsewhere in the worksheet to deselect. So when you click out of that range, it actually deselects. Now let's go back to cell A1 and click, hold down your shift key. So I'm A1 is my active cell. Hold down your shift key, go over to D6, D6, and click. And notice that when you um, do that, it selects that same range. So that's another way of selecting your text by clicking and then going to your endpoint, holding down your shift key and, pre and clicking. And that also selects, um, selects um, text as well. So this concludes this step. Go ahead and um, save your document and we will pick up on the next step.